operational amplifier okay now as far as an operational amplifier is concerned as far as an operational amplifier is concerned it is a building block as far as analog circuits are concerned as far as analog circuits are concerned and this is about its corresponding symbol invert non inverting inverting and this is your output terminal this is your output terminal okay first thing which you have to understand out of an operational amplifier is it is in an ic form integrated circuit form it is in an integrated circuit form okay it is a versatile device which acts as both ac as well as dc amplifier ac and dc amplifier okay it is like as far as an operational amplifier is concerned okay it is having one or two one or two high gain stages okay one or two high gain stages which are in a direct coupled format which are in a direct coupled format because of that direct coupled format we have discussed in the last session that because of that direct coupling frequency response will be something like this frequency response of a frequency response of a amplifier direct coupled amplifier direct coupled high gain amplifier you can write it here that also direct coupled high gain amplifier direct coupled high gain amplifier okay so because of that direct coupling your fl is equal to 0 so now when you see f is equal to 0 it can amplify the signal for f is equal to 100 hertz it can amplify the signal f is equal to 1 kilohertz it can amplify the signal because of that reason you call it you call it as a ac as well as dc amplifier ac as well as dc amplifier okay so that is the case as far as a operational amplifier is concerned internal structure of an operational amplifier is not needed for us but first but let us have let us have an understanding of block diagrammatic view of an operational amplifier this is a block diagrammatic view of an operational amplifier okay this is a differential amplifier a differential amplifier okay and this also is a differential amplifier one or two gain stages in some cases it can be one in some cases it can be two dual input balanced output dual input balanced output two inputs and two outputs okay then you have one more stage then you have one more stage and here it is unbalanced output unbalanced output means if you are taking output across two collectors differential amplifier structure will discuss it but not now at a later point of time okay if you pick output across two collectors then you will call it as a different like balanced output dual input balanced output dual input unbalanced output unbalanced output that means you are taking output across only one collector you are taking output across only one collector meaning to say to, to give a very brief idea to give a very brief idea if this is a structure of a differential amplifier if this is a structure of a differential amplifier if you are picking output over here if you are picking your output over here across two collectors then it is called as a balanced output then it is called as a balanced output you have a differential amplifier structure you have a differential amplifier structure but still you are taking output across this particular fellow this is dual input unbalanced output unbalanced output dual input unbalanced output okay taking across only one collector then you have this is a level shifter this is a level shifter and at last you have an output stage you have an output stage now what happens over here is what happens over here is the first stage these two differential amplifiers differential amplifier differential amplifier the responsibilities of differential amplifier are like this high input resistance high input resistance high gain these two are the two significant features which are given by this differential amplifiers high gain high gain along with that you have one important parameter called as one important functionality called as noise rejection one important function called as noise rejection we'll come across this we'll come we'll 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 pay a lot of attention to this one noise rejection 
but at a later instant of time not now okay so high input resistance very high input resistance and very high gain sorry very high input resistance and very high gain is provided by is provided by your differential amplifiers okay input resistance and high gain is provided by this because of direct coupling because of direct coupling there will be a level shifting which happens internal to that operational amplifier internal to that operational amplifier so in order to correct that level in order to correct that dc levels we use a level shifter in order to correct that dc levels we use a level shifter over here and at last we have an output stage the responsibilities of this output stage are low output impedance this helps us in having a low output impedance and at the same time provides high current provides high output current provides high output current so these are the things these are the salient features as far as a operational amplifier is concerned then we'll go ahead with a ideal operational amplifier but before that this is the internal block diagram of a operational amplifier which has one or two differential amplifiers followed by a level shifter and lastly you have a output stage lastly you have a output stage so there you see differential amplifiers are providing your high input resistance and high gain level shifter corrects if any dc level is there and then output stage provides your very low output resistance and at the same time it provides high output current it provides high output current so those are the things as far as your operational amplifier is concerned operational amplifier is concerned now before going ahead with the ideal op amp characteristics let me pay attention towards the differential amplifier okay let me pay attention towards the differential amplifier in what way does differential amplifier help us in what way does differential amplifier help us we will pay attention towards that one okay now when you look into when you look into amplification so that differential amplifier what happens in a normal amplifier what happens in a normal amplifier and what is the need for you to go for a something called as a differential amplifier is this one what happens is whenever you have a amplifier this is your amplifier let me suppose that this is an amplifier and this is your signal okay so this is your signal which you want to amplify and that is getting amplified at the output that's good everything is fine in this environment but everything will not be fine when you have some noise also along with this input in the environment i have some noise if not around over here i have some noise along with that particular thing now along with your signal this noise also gets amplified along with this signal the noise also gets amplified this is one limitation of a general amplifier this is one limitation of a general amplifier that can be overcome that can be overcome by a differential amplifier why because if you see this one a differential amplifier is something like this a differential amplifier by name by name what does it do by name what does it do is instead of amplifying the signal directly it amplifies the difference between two signals it amplifies the difference between two signals okay now you have noise over here in this environment and you have noise over in this environment also okay so the noise signal which is common for both inputs the noise signal which is common for both signals will be nullified will be nullified let me suppose that this is a1 and this is your a2 plus noise and plus noise okay x1 if not to put it simple x1 plus n and x2 plus n that is a noise okay so now your output your output v output is equal to x1 of n let me suppose that it is x1 of n minus x2 of n okay so here it comes out as x1 of n x1 plus n minus x2 minus n this noise component gets nullified this noise component which is common for both inputs this noise component which is common for both inputs gets nullified in the case of a differential amplifier that is a big advantage of your differential amplifier that is where it gives noise rejection if not it has noise rejection properties that's the reason it is having noise rejection properties okay so noise which is common for both inputs will not be getting amplified it gets nullified it gets nullified that is one of the very big advantage of your 
operational amplifiers front end differential amplifier stage front end differential amplifier stage is that is okay Are able to understand this point noise rejection point noise rejection point going ahead with the ideal op amp characteristics ideal op amp characteristics ideal operational amplifier okay first and foremost point is your operational amplifier is a voltage controlled voltage source your op amp is a op amp is a ideal this one voltage controlled voltage source and this is a equivalent circuit of op amp here you have a voltage source a ol into vd okay and here you have your v not r not sorry you have your r not okay and this is your vd the difference is your vd this is your let me suppose that v1 and this is your v2 okay so vd is equal to v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 op amp amplifies the difference between two input signals op amp amplifies the difference between two input signals op amp amplifies naming point of view it may not show any significance but when we look into the circuit and all then we will understand okay if not at this point of time at later instant of time you will understand that why i am stressing upon that point it amplifies the difference between two input signals amplifies the difference between two input signals and this is your op amp i need one more marker okay this is your op amp equivalent circuit of an op amp equivalent circuit of an op amp this is your op amp. is that is okay hope you have understood this one okay equivalent circuit of an op amp in equivalent circuit if you see this is a voltage source this is an voltage source and depending on voltage so that is the reason voltage controlled voltage source voltage controlled voltage source it is an voltage controlled voltage source op amp is okay now coming out to the ideal characteristics of an op amp ideal characteristics of an op amp ri is infinity input resistance offered by an op amp is infinity input resistance offered by an op amp is infinity because of this reason because of this reason what are the points which we try to say is the points which we try to say out of that particular thing this is your v1 and this is your v2 let me suppose that okay if this is current i1 and if this is current i2 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 current drawn by either of the terminals of an op amp is zero why because your input resistance is infinity current drawn by either of the terminals of an op amp is zero why because your input resistance is infinity and next you have r not is equal to zero r not is equal to zero there is no output resistance output resistance is zero almost all so whatever voltage you get over here that you can deliver it to your load that you can deliver it to your load okay whatever you are getting over here that you can deliver it to your load that is related to your output resistance is equal to z and gain av is equal to infinity voltage gain is equal to infinity that we will write it as aol why because the terminology which is used over here is aol aol means open loop voltage gain open loop voltage gain and along with that we have along with this we have bandwidth being infinity cmrr being infinity these are the other things these are the other things bandwidth is infinity ideally for an ideal case okay whereas op practically it is not infinity ideally we say that it is infinity okay cmrr is infinity one more thing is lure rate is infinity we'll come across these parameters at, later, at a later instant of time but at this point of time these are the things which are infinity okay input resistance is infinity output resistance is zero voltage open loop voltage gain is infinity bandwidth infinity cmrr infinity slew rate is infinity okay so these are the things op amp amplifies the difference between two input signals op amp amplifies the difference between two input signals